The world of mobile devices, particularly Android, has exploded in recent years. This rapid expansion has opened up a new frontier for hackers. Android's open-source nature makes it an attractive target. Kaylee Linux provides the perfect toolkit for exploring this landscape. This guide will introduce you to Android hacking using Kali Linux. Whether you're a security professional or a tech enthusiast, this guide will provide essential knowledge. We'll cover setting up your hacking lab and understanding Android architecture. Remember, knowledge is power. Use it responsibly and ethically. Always respect the privacy and security of others. Join me as we explore Android security. Let's begin. Before diving into Android hacking, we need a safe environment. This is where Kaylee Linux comes in. It's a Debian-based OS for penetration testing and security auditing. The safest way to run Kaylee Linux is within a virtual machine. A virtual machine provides isolation and security. Download the Kali Linux ISO image from the official website. With Kaylee Linux installed, you have access to powerful hacking tools. Now let's understand our target, Android. Android, the ubiquitous mobile operating system, is built upon a foundation of Linux. It boasts a layered architecture, each layer playing a crucial role in its functionality and security. At the heart lies the Linux kernel, responsible for managing hardware resources. Above the kernel sits Android's middleware, housing core libraries and services. The application framework the layer developers interact with provides tools and APIs for crafting those apps we rely on daily. Finally, at the top resides the application layer where user-installed apps reside. Android employs various security measures to safeguard user data and system integrity. Sandboxing isolates apps, limiting their access to resources and data belonging to other apps or the system. Permissions further restrict an app's actions requiring user consent for sensitive operations. Understanding this architecture is crucial for hackers. By identifying vulnerabilities within these layers, we can exploit weaknesses and gain unauthorized access. But before we delve into the tools and techniques of exploitation, we must first master the art of reconnaissance. Before launching any attack, a seasoned general must first scout the battlefield. In the world of hacking, reconnaissance is that crucial first step. It involves gathering information about your target, identifying potential vulnerabilities, and planning your attack strategy. For Android hacking, reconnaissance might involve identifying the target device, its operating system version, installed apps, and network connections. There are numerous tools and techniques at your disposal. Open Source Intelligence, or OSINT, is your first line of inquiry. Social media profiles, online forums, and even discarded data can provide valuable insights. Scanning tools can help map the target device's network, revealing open ports and services. Remember, information is power. The more you know about your target, the more effectively you can tailor your attack. But always exercise caution and operate within the confines of the law. Unethical hacking is not only illegal but also detrimental to the very fabric of the digital world. Let's explore the essential tools for Android hacking. Kaylee Linux offers a vast arsenal for Android hacking, from analyzing APK files to exploiting vulnerabilities. APK tool is key for reverse engineering Android apps. It decompiles APKs revealing source code and resources. Metasploit is a powerful exploitation framework. With a vast library of exploits for Android devices, Drozer is essential for Android security assessments. It finds and exploits vulnerabilities in apps and devices. Frida lets you inject code into running processes. Perfect for analyzing behavior and bypassing security checks. These are just a few of the many tools available. Remember, tools are only as effective as the person using them. Armed with our knowledge of Android and our toolkit from Kali Linux, we can now begin to probe for vulnerabilities. These weaknesses in code or design can be exploited to gain unauthorized access or control over a device. Vulnerabilities come in many forms. A common one is buffer overflow, where an app fails to properly manage memory allocation allowing an attacker to overwrite data and potentially execute malicious code. Another is SQL injection, where malicious code is inserted into database queries compromising data integrity or granting unauthorized access. Identifying these vulnerabilities requires a keen eye for detail and a deep understanding of how apps are built. Once a vulnerability is found, the next step is to craft an exploit. 
a piece of code that takes advantage of the weakness. This is where Metasploit shines. Its vast library of pre-built exploits can save you time and effort. However, sometimes you'll need to develop your own custom exploits, requiring a deeper understanding of programming and exploit development techniques. Before we proceed further, it's crucial to address the ethical implications of hacking. While the techniques discussed can be used for malicious purposes, our focus is on ethical hacking, also known as penetration testing. Ethical hackers operate with permission and within legal boundaries. They use their skills to identify and report vulnerabilities, helping to make systems more secure. Their work is crucial in today's digital landscape, where data breaches and cyber attacks are becoming increasingly common. The key difference between ethical hacking and malicious hacking lies in intent and consent. Ethical hackers obtain explicit permission from system owners before testing their security. They are transparent about their methods and findings, working collaboratively to improve security. Always remember, hacking without permission is illegal and unethical. The information shared here is for educational purposes only. Use it responsibly and ethically to make the digital world a safer place. Section 8, Advanced Techniques Delving Deeper into the Android Arsenal. As you progress, you'll encounter advanced techniques for deeper analysis and exploitation. These require understanding mobile OS, reverse engineering, and exploit development. Dynamic analysis lets you observe an app's behavior in real time, analyze network traffic, memory usage, and system calls. Fuzzing bombards an app with invalid data to uncover vulnerabilities, useful for identifying buffer overflows and memory flaws. Reverse engineering helps understand app logic and modify behavior. These techniques require dedication and continuous learning. Section 9. Case Studies Real-World Examples of Android Hacks To truly grasp the impact of Android hacking, let's examine real-world examples where vulnerabilities have been exploited. These case studies highlight the importance of security awareness and the real-world consequences of inadequate protection. One notable example is the stage fright vulnerability discovered in 2015. This critical flaw in Android's multimedia framework allowed attackers to remotely execute code on millions of devices simply by sending a specially crafted MMS message. Another high-profile case involved the Blueborn attack vector revealed in 2017. This vulnerability exploited weaknesses in Bluetooth implementations enabling attackers to remotely access and control vulnerable Android devices without any user interaction. These examples demonstrate that even seemingly secure systems can be compromised. They underscore the importance of responsible disclosure, where security researchers inform vendors of vulnerabilities, allowing them to patch flaws before they can be exploited. By studying these real-world attacks, we gain valuable insights into the tactics and techniques used by malicious actors. This knowledge helps us develop stronger defenses and stay one step ahead in the ongoing cybersecurity arms race. Section 10, Staying Ahead of the Curve, Continuous Learning in Cybersecurity. The world of cybersecurity is constantly evolving. New threats emerge daily and old ones resurface with new sophistication. To stay ahead of the curve, continuous learning is paramount. Attend cybersecurity conferences and workshops to network with fellow professionals and learn from industry experts. Engage in online forums and communities dedicated to ethical hacking and security research. Subscribe to security blogs and newsletters to stay informed about the latest threats and vulnerabilities. Experiment with new tools and techniques in your virtual lab environment. The more you practice, the sharper your skills will become. Don't be afraid to challenge yourself and push the boundaries of your knowledge. Remember, the journey of an ethical hacker is one of continuous learning and adaptation. Embrace the ever-changing landscape of cybersecurity and remain vigilant in the face of evolving threats. Your skills and knowledge are crucial in making the digital world a safer place. Section 11. Conclusion, Embracing the Ethical Hacking Mindset. As we conclude this exploration of Android hacking with Kali Linux, it's essential to reiterate the importance of ethical behavior. The knowledge and skills gained here should be used responsibly and ethically to enhance security, not to inflict harm. Embrace the mindset of an ethical hacker. 
approach every challenge with curiosity, integrity, and a commitment to responsible disclosure. Use your skills to identify and report vulnerabilities, helping to make the digital world a safer place for everyone. Remember, the true power of a hacker lies not in the tools they use, but in their unwavering commitment to ethical principles. By embracing these values, you join a community of security professionals dedicated to protecting our digital future. Go forth, fellow hacker, and use your newfound knowledge wisely. The fate of our digital world rests in the hands of those who dare to explore its vulnerabilities while upholding the highest ethical standards.